Hello and welcome to Space Engineers, a thruster test. So I was curious how much uh, weight each type of thruster could actually lift, so I built all these little crafts and loaded them up with some platinum ingots just to see how much weight they could lift with the required engines. Uh, so I've already crunched all the numbers and I'll put up a chart at the end of it. But this here is just a, uh, a single atmospheric thruster on a small craft. And so the requirements for it was that the ship had to be able to take off under its own power. And then it had to be able to hover. And then after it hovered for a little while, it had to be able to increase altitude again. There was a few times where the altitude just wanted to go up because it, you know, it's barely thrusting enough. Like this guy here, you can see I'm slowly increasing speed. I'm at 7 meters now, just going up from 6. But so that's what I did with all of these ships. And I just kept loading them down with platinum ingots. So just to increase their weight until they could no longer fly very well. But so I'm just going to go through real quick and tell you what they are and how much weight they could do per engine. So this is a small atmospheric, and this was 9,813 kilograms. And again, I'm going to tell you all this at the end, too. I'll actually put a picture up of it. Okay, and so this is a large atmospheric engine on a small grid. And this one was 58,701 kilograms. Okay, so this one was a little funky. One ion engine was not enough to lift the cockpit, the battery, the cargo container, and the landing gear. So I had to add a bunch of them on there. And so there are... There's 15 in total. And so these 15 could lift 4,418 kilograms. So I just divided it, you know by 15 to get the number per engine, which was 294 kilograms. Uh, so this is a small hydrogen engine. And so this one was able to lift 10,047 kilograms. And then this is a large hydrogen engine. And this one was able to lift 48,923 kilograms. Okay, and that's all the small grid ships. Now we'll move on to the large grid. So this is a large grid small atmospheric thruster. And this one was able to lift 65,998. Large grid large atmospheric thruster. And this one was able to lift 659,885 kilograms. All right, so again, the uh, small ion thruster on the large grid. Again, I needed multiple ones. I had to do four of them on this. But so the four were able to lift 27,118 kilograms, and then I divided that by four, so each one gives us 6,779 kilograms of lift. All right, and so this is a large ion thruster. So this is able to lift 87,898 kilograms. And then, so this is a small hydrogen on a large grid. And so this was able to lift 109,171 kilograms. All right, and now a large hydrogen on a large grid ship. And this was able to lift 729,158 kilograms. So by knowing how much each thruster can lift, you can guesstimate the minimum number of thrusters required to lift your ship. Uh, now there are some caveats to this. As an example, atmospheric thrusters, the higher you get in the atmosphere, the less efficient they are. So the higher up you go, the less air or atmosphere they can take in, which lowers their overall thrust. So when you're doing these, you know, they work fine at sea level, but if you get too high, you're going to want to increase the uh, amount of engines. 
and then ion thrusters, you know, they work significantly better in less atmosphere. They're actually, if I recall correctly, they're the opposite of, of the atmospheric ones. So the less atmosphere there is, the more thrust these output. So as they get higher, they push harder. Or they push with more force. And then the hydrogen, uh, they, they're just all the same no matter what altitude you're at. And then the other thing to remember is in all of these ships inside the control panel, every thruster has a thrust override. And the thrust override puts out more force than what the ship does when you're just pressing the button on your own. So what that means is when you're holding spacebar to increase your altitude, it only puts out so much thrust and it's not 100% of what you can do with thrust override. I think it's like 75 or 80%. So if you were to turn thrust override on all your thrusters, you would actually be able to lift more weight than what you could by uh, applying the thrust manually. Okay, and again, this all of these figures only apply to 1.0 G on the Earth-like planet at uh, sea level. Any other altitudes, and they could have different results, and obviously different gravities will make a difference. Lower gravity, they can carry more weight. Higher gravity, carry less weight. Uh, higher atmosphere, less weight. Or more weight, depending on which one they are. But all right, so I will go ahead and throw up those numbers now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment if you have any questions or any suggestions.